Yo, 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 it's Jimmy G23 here, and welcome to my FIFA 19 players prediction, specifically for the one and only club that I support fully and truly is Chelsea FC. Let's get it. Um, you know, they're also, they were the winners of the 2016-2017 Premier League uh, Premier League and uh, season, and so kudos to them. Uh, Man City got us, guy got us last year, but hey, we're going to come back 3-0, and, and we're ready to go ready to go um but today i'm gonna be providing you guys um my player rating for um, predictions going over the reserves going over the bench and then we're definitely going to go over the starting lineup um i'm using the 4-2-3-1 formation because that's what they most that's what they played with most recently so we'll go ahead and start with that um but you know if you guys like the video go ahead give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you guys didn't like it um leave in the comments if you guys wanted to see something else um, I hope you guys really, really enjoy the video, and I really appreciate any type of feedback that you guys provide um, or any type of support. Um, I got more videos coming out soon. Um, obviously, my social media links, our um, usernames are down below. Go ahead and check me out. Um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and get started with um, with the reserves. So here are the reserves. We got Loftus Cheek, um, Tammy Abraham, Barkley, Drinkwater, and Zappa Costa. Um, now these ratings might be a little off and the reason why is because I am predicting them. Um, let me go ahead and check. Uh, so I use, I'm using the same data points as I used before in the previous, um, top 100 FIFA 19 videos, um, player prediction videos. And so here, um, I'm using the exact same idea four data points on um, one from who score.com one, my personal opinion. Uh, the third one is from the online seasons, um, the ones I get updated, I believe, on a monthly or even bi-weekly basis. And I use the winner upgrades as the base rating. And then I average all of those outs, and then I either round up or round down. But in this case, for Chelsea, I'm rounding everything up, just to let you guys know. Um, so let's go ahead and start with uh, Loftus-Cheek. Um, Loftus-Cheek, his data points, um, he had an overall rating of 76. Um, and the winner um, upgrades are the the base um, after winner up upgrades. He was a 74 rating. Um, online seasons currently has him at a 75. I think he could be as high as 78 just because of the way he's been performing lately. Um, and uh, who scored is actually giving him a 77 rated. Uh, so an overall rating of 76. That's two ratings. He could be a gold card, and if he is a gold card, he would be a great gold. Um, Great player to have in the very first week of FIFA 19 just to get your players started, just to get your club started. Um, Tabby Abraham, he is um, he was a 73 rating at the um, right after the winter upgrades. Um, online seasons actually gives him a 74. I believe he performed very well for Swans, uh, Swansea City. He even had a man of the match for them. Um, so I think he could be as high as 75, giving them that um, gold card. Not a special gold card, uh, just a non-rare gold card. Um, but who scored is giving him a 73 rating with the overall rating of a 73.75. So rounding that up to a 74. Um, here's Barkley, uh, number uh, coming in. Um, I have him on the reserves, even though he got subbed in last game. Um, he's currently on the reserves. I have other players on there that I believe I could have switched them out with someone. Um, but I currently have him on, uh, like I said, the reserves. He stayed. He didn't get upgraded during the winter upgrades. He stayed at an 81. Um, on online seasons, he's actually currently at 80, which is a little bit surprising. Um, he has a one rating decrease, but who scored and myself, I think a 81 rating is more than fine. After he um, uh, came over through the transfer window, he really didn't get a whole lot of playing time at the end of last season. He's getting playing time this season. He's building his confidence up, and I'm expecting big things from him, especially off the bench. Another thing is Barkley looking at stats, three-star weak foot. Uh, or, I mean, three-star skill moves, five-star weak foot, 77 pace, shoot, passing, and physicality, 82 dribbling. This is actually a really decent overall gold card, especially right off the bat. He'll probably be like 1,500 from the first week of FIFA 19, so definitely be on the lookout for him. Um, let's look at Drinkwater now. 79 overall rating. Um, currently, and uh, winner upgrades, he, he maintained a 79. Uh, he actually in online seasons, he's an 80 rating. Um, I personally think he's a 79 and then, uh, and who scored has him as a 79 as well. So an overall rating of 79.25, um, for him, 
um, bringing that of not rounding up for that just overall 79 drink water is also so if you use a 4231 and you have um, drink water and uh, Barclay that's actually really good you have your drink water as a, you have drink water for your last name as your center defensive mid I mean 66 pace is terrible um, but he's gonna be cheap at the very beginning probably 500 750 coins um, he has great pace, great physicality, passing is great, so you're not expecting a whole lot from him. Um, and then you have Barkley as your center attacking mid. Um, last is Zapacosta. Zapacosta um, is getting an overall rating of uh, 78.75. Um, the reason why he gets that rating is because he didn't get upgraded, so he maintained the 79. Uh, Zapacosta and online seasons, and then my personal opinion, just a 79 rating. I don't think he deserves an upgrade nor a downgrade personally. Um, however, who scored is giving him that 78 rating, so a one rating decrease, which gives him to that 78.75. But of course, rounding it up for my Chelsea, giving him that 70 Ryan rating, he would actually be a really great cheap um, right back to have. I mean, 82 pace early in the game in the first week isn't bad just to start off your club, so start investing, start playing games. This is these. These players right here, Barkley, Drinkwater, and Zappacosta are ideal players that you would want to have, especially look at Zappacosta's work rate, high, high. I mean, on defense and on offense, you definitely want to write back with a high, high work rate. It's really great, or a high, medium work rate, depending on how you want your center backs and your defensive line to um, match up. But these are great cards, honestly, right off the bat to start with FIFA 19. Um, no... A huge upgrades here other than Loftus Cheek to a 76 so a two rating increase um, but let's go ahead and check out what I got on the bench on the bench here I got a I got we'll start off with the uh, Cabareo I believe that's how you pronounce his name his overall rating is a 78.75 um, reason why is that is because um, he has 79 rating throughout online seasons it went up can you get upgraded and who scored is um, keeping him at 79. Personally, <laughs> I give him a one rating decrease, even though he's on Chelsea, just because of his performance in the World Cup. It was very unprofessional. Um, he, you could tell he was very, very nervous in, in one of those games. I forget which game it was. He was just, I, I don't think he, he's a 79 rated card. Um, it's definitely a 78. Um, I wouldn't even use him as a starting goalkeeper. Um, but yeah, so overall 79. Now, Moses, Victor Moses, look at him. He's getting a one rating increase. Um, I personally think I give him a two rating increase. My personal opinion is an 81. Um, online Seasons does give him a one rating increase. Um, he, after the winter upgrades, he maintained a 79. And then Who Scored is also giving him a one rating increase um, to make that just an overall 80. Uh, I definitely think Moses deserves it. He played well in the World Cup. Um, he also, too, when I looked on Chelsea FC's uh, website, they have him as a forward, which I'm very interested in if they're going to start playing him as a right wing or not, um, or as a right mid. Um, that'd be great. He'd be definitely a strong meta player. He, if he gets a couple of team of the weeks, um, we'll definitely see him jump to that 81 right away, or if not, an 84, depending on where he starts. Now, Oliver Giroud. Um, I think he's going to... Um, I guess right here what the data says overall is an 82.25. Um, I personally think he's going to get a one rating increase to an 83. And the reason why I'm saying that is because one, he's a French player and two, he's in the Premier League. Um, I think a lot of French players are going to get a lot of love this season um, in FIFA 19. Even though he didn't score in the World Cup, he did a lot of things well. He, he maintained a lot of pressure. He got players open and I definitely think he's going to get that 83 rating. Definitely boosts his physicality and his passing. He had, he had some great passes, too, during the World Cup. He came in strong for Chelsea at the end of last season, scoring great goals for us. Um, so I'm excited for Oliver Giroud to come off the bench, sub in for, Mor for Morata, and uh, score those headers that we need. Next up is Kovacic. Kovacic. I, I can't pronounce that very well. On loan. Right now, currently on loan. I think there's a buy option at the end. Um... It's weird, Foothead didn't have his Chelsea um, emblem on here, so I'm using the Real Madrid. I, I, I get that. I understand. It's not my fault. It's Foothead's fault. Um, but this is a really great card. When, once his Chelsea card comes out, um, a four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. This, this is going to be an expensive card, especially in the first week. But that week right before the weekend league, this is going to be a great card. He'll definitely drop down to about 2K, I believe, that week. 
Um, 81 pace, 82 passing, 84 dribbling is what you want. And then he's solid on the defensive end, 61, 69. His shooting's kind of weak, but he's going to be a solid defensive guy um, anyway, and he's fast. Um, expecting big things from him coming off the bench. He did well for Croatia. He did well for Real Madrid coming off, providing that energy that you definitely need in the in the second third of the game, uh, coming in in probably the 66th, 70th minute of the game. Next up is Christensen. He's actually going to be getting a one rating increase. Um, and the reason why he's getting one because myself and who scored is giving him an 83 rating. Uh, online seasons, as he's currently at an 82 and his base was an 82. I think he might have gone a one rating increase with the winner upgrades from an 81 to an 82. Um, his overall rating is an 82.5. So with that, I'm definitely rounding him up to 83. Um uh, I thought he played pretty well last season for um, Chelsea. Um, gave up some some plays. I think it's just because he's not as strong as what I would want him to be. Hopefully he went in the weight room this offseason and put on some weight and maintained his speed. So some lean, strong weight, if you know what I mean. Bulking up his shoulders. Um, hopefully his uh, physicality goes up to at least a 76, 78. And this would be an amazing card to start off with um, at an 83. Just because he's an off um, off nation he might be a very cheap car so keep a lookout on him um, so yeah so just keep a lookout for him uh, 72 pace is really great especially in the first two weeks so then we got Gary Cahill um, the reason why I don't have him on I didn't switch him out for um, Barkley from the reserves to the bench is because it's, it's Gary Cahill he demands a lot of respect he's been in the season for quite some time 63 rating, 84 pace, 78 uh, physicality. This dude's a monster um, on the pitch. He's definitely a second half player if anyone needs a sub. Um, and uh, I, I hope you mean he. We need a captain back there to share, to show Christensen and show um, Rudiger how how things work. Educate him. Be the captain of the center defensive line, center back line. And then last but not least from the bench, I have Fabregas. I don't have him starting, so you might wonder why I don't have him starting. I'm going – I the starters that I put in place are from the previous game, and that's what I'm sticking with. Um, but Fabregas, um, 86 rating. If you guys did watch the FIFA 19 top 100 player predictions, I do have him as an 85 um, just because his overall rating is an 85.5. And I have mixed emotions about um, Fabregas, um, but – you know, I right now I de I'm definitely giving him the boost to the 86. I'm um, after thinking about it. Um, I definitely need we definitely need him to come through as our one of our captains for our center mids, um, educating the young guys, um, just getting him more involved because he could honestly. There's a lot of similarity. It's crazy though that Fabregas has a lower dribbling stat than uh, Kovacek. It might be it might have to do with the agility and balance. Um, but yeah, so this is the bench. I'll leave it off with this, and then we're definitely going to get into and the the starters. So here are the starters. Um, I got Morata um, up on top. I have Willian. I have Pedro, and then Hazard as a center attacking mids. Now this lineup right here is based off of um, their most recent starting game. Uh, and then I obviously you can see Conte and then I have Jorginho. The reason I have Jorginho is because uh, he did start and so that's why I'm having him and I believe he started at the center defensive mid. Now, if you look at his card, if I'm able, um, if I'll pull it up a little bit better once I scroll down a little bit. He, he's a pretty good meta card and such and just be and he's an Italian nation so he might be cheap and might be a good buy early on. Um, especially if he gets a ones to watch, you definitely want to pick him up because once he's out of packs, he's going to skyrocket. Um, maybe not a whole lot, but he may. He definitely, if you buy him for 750, I definitely see him going up to 1500, 2000k. Uh, but let's go ahead and start off with uh, Morata. He um, he's actually so he, it's funny. He got a one rating uh, boost from uh, uh, winner upgrades from 84 to 85. My overall ratings is that we're dropping him back down to an 84. He did not finish the season off very well. He had a couple late goals, but he was he had a dry spell. He had a very, very long dry spell. Missed some easy opportunities. Um, and so I definitely think he deserves a downgrade for that because he didn't live up to what he was expecting to do. But I'm hoping he already scored this season. Um, so I'm hoping for more goals to him. He needs at least 12 or 15 goals this season from him, if not more. He's our number one striker right now. So... Um, 
who scored is actually keeping them at an 85. All Nine Seasons has them at an 84. Um, I, I guess I'm the one that was a little upset about him, and I gave him an 83 rating. Um, when it upgrades, he maintained an 85, so that's why his overall rating is an 84.25. Pedro is going to maintain, or actually, he's going to get a one rating. He's going to maintain the 84 um, rating. Um, er everyone had gave him an 84 other than online seasons at an 83, so his overall rating is the 83.75. He's doing well. I think he already scored as well. He had a really great goal, actually. I forget against, it might have been against Arsenal. Um, but that was amazing to see. Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. He's going to be great. Hopefully, he gets a pace boost. Um, that's really what I want from his card. Other than that, he's going to be phenomenal in FIFA 19. On the far right, got Willian as a, a right center attacking mid. He's going to maintain the same. He had a lot of assists, but he also missed a lot of opportunities and choked. Willian was one of my favorite players um, to play with in FIFA 18. Definitely going to be using him quite a bit quite a bit. The reason why I like him is because of his work rate. I really, really enjoyed his work rate, and uh, I'm just excited to use him for FIFA 19, and he maintains the 84 because he gets an 84 all across the board. Um, then we go to Hazard, a 92 rated. Um, and my top 10 FIFA 19 player predictions, I have him as a top 5 player at, at a 92. Um, I have him as a 92, and who scored actually has him as a 92 a 92. And online seasons has him at a 91. Expecting big things from uh, Hazard. He's definitely going to need to score at least 15, 20 goals this season. Have about 12, 15 assists. He's, he has to be our quarterback, our playmaker. He needs to be making those passes and also making those. Um, he needs to be making those short passes and be throwing those touchdown passes as well. Scoring goals, passing, um, passing, and giving those assists to Morata, Pedro, and Willian. Um, going down a little bit. Show with you guys a little bit going down. We have Kante and Jorginho. And then you guys are able to see the rest of the squad as my starters. And one of the reasons why I have Azi Pelicueta here at the right back is because that's what he played in the most recent game. Um, so Jorginho, he's actually going to get a one rating boost uh, from an 81 to an 82. Uh, and I believe uh, I give him um, an 82 um, online seasons currently has him at an 82 and winner of race he was just an 81 um, and then who scored uh, is actually giving him an 82 so he's rounding up to an 80 81.75 so he's going up to an 82 which I'm excited to see this is going to be a strong meta card don't forget to look uh, keep a lookout for him um, but yeah then Conte I think he's going to get from the way he played in that World Cup and the way he played last season he got player of the year for Chelsea last season um and I, I think he deserves another one rating increase. I just hope his stats matches his rating. Um, he definitely, this 82 defense, 84 physicality, you can keep the physicality the same, but his defense needs to be at least an 86, 87 to match this 89 rated card. And his passing needs to go up as well. Conte is just an unbelievable player, one of the nicest players you'll ever meet. And he's going to be um, just a phenomenal tank for us as well. All right, so next up we have is uh, Alonzo. Alonzo is going to get a one rating increase. I believe he already got a one winner upgrade from an 81 to an 82. I definitely think the Premier League left backs need a little bit of help, and I think Alonzo is really able to provide that, being, I believe, the highest rated left back um, above Rose uh, in the Premier League at, at an 83. I'm trying to think of who else might be a better left back than him right now, but I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. Um, but 83 rating is well deserved. He already has, I think he, honestly, he should be one of the players for player of the month right now. In three games, one goal and four assists. I think he should definitely be one of the players to have a player of the month card, especially at a left back position. Um, he's he's working both sides. I personally have him at an 84 rating. I definitely think he deserves that 84. Might be a little bit too high now I'm thinking about it, but um, I don't take it back at all. He definitely deserves it. And who scored is giving him that 83 rating increase. So an overall rating of 82.75 for Alonzo. Moving on to David Luiz. Um, 85 rating. So one rating decrease for David Luiz. Uh, just watching him last year and this year already. He's making some silly mistakes. He's not being aggressive. He's, he's he, Sometimes he's, it just looks like he's not there. Not in the game. Um, I personally give him an 85 rating. Who scored is keeping him at an 86, but online season actually has him at an 84 rating. So that drops his overall to an 85.25. And so I could definitely see David Luis getting a, a downgrade, which I'm sad about. I'm, I'm hoping he's able to perform more. 
Uh, maybe one of the things uh, Sari has to do is throw Ezekiel Lequetzal back over, take David Luis out, and throw in Moses, uh, Victor Moses, but we'll see. Um, next up, we have Rudiger. Um, Rudiger is just maintaining that 82 rating, and uh, that's what we have all across the data points. It's just an 82. Um, it, we're going to need him to essentially act like a bai, um, get a little bit stronger, get a little bit um, faster, and be, be the defender we all know he can be. Um, making those saves, making those strong tackles in the box, outside the box. Uh, and then lastly, on the far right in the defensive line, we have Azi Pelequeta. Um, I don't know. Right now, Chelsea is having him play on the right back, so there might be a position change with him to a right back. If so, that'd be insane. I really like them as a center back because um, he had amazing pace, defense, and his physicality wasn't bad. Sometimes with this team of the season, I was playing him as a center defensive mid because of his pace. Um, I, I'm excited for Azzy Pelequeta. His overall rating was 86.25. Who scored it is giving him a one rating increase. Um, I only had him at an 86. Um, I'm trying to think back why, and I think it's just because he didn't. I just Chelsea overall last year didn't didn't play so well, so I don't think they're going to get a whole lot of love um, this season. Um, but yeah, that that's the defensive line that I have. And then last but not least, the highest transfer goalkeeper ever in history um, we have Kepa um, it was obviously a a panic buy everyone knows it 100% overpriced um, but I don't think as I mentioned before previously is that Caballero he's I, I don't know what's wrong with him mentally but we definitely needed a goalkeeper hopefully it's Kepa hopefully he's worth the money um, that we paid for Overall rating, 82. And what was interesting, too, is that in the winter upgrade, originally in FIFA 19, uh, FIFA 18, he was an 80, 79 rated card. And then in the winter upgrades, he got a rating increase to an 81. But then once his FIFA, his Chelsea card came out, he went drop down back to a 79, which I thought is odd. So um, I'm keeping that 81 as a baseline. I definitely think he could be as high as 83, especially with the transfer over. Um, Kepa, um, who scored, is giving them that 82 rating. Online seasons, he's currently at an 82. And so an overall rating for Kepa is an 82. Um, but that's it, guys. That's my um, player prediction, uh, FIFA 19 player prediction for Chelsea uh, FC. I'm excited to watch them play. They're 3-0. I'm ready for them to make moves, get some amazing goals, get some wins, and hopefully um, come – it's really hard to say when the Champions League when, or when the Premier League when when um, we have a new manager. We're still working out the kinks with some of these new players, and the fact that Man City is still just unbelievable right now. Um, but hopefully we are. We're we're doing amazing things. Um, we did have a sign of weakness against Arsenal, but we'll definitely fix that up. Um, like I said, I'm excited for them. Keep on the lookout for more videos. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. My social media is down below. Um, check me out on there. I'll actually post the links this time. Um, that's it, y'all. Um, thank you again for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'm out, y'all. Peace.